now we're in the wagon. Today, I want to let you guys know that the gauge is seriously about to be given away. Uh, we want to do it for Christmas. We this is the best way to go, so the name will be chosen for Christmas. I mean, you guys got until then to subscribe. I mean, because we're going through the list of names. The wife made a wheel, and the wheel is big. <laughs> the wheel is big, and we'll show you guys that, and it's a list if you aren't a subscriber you aren't on that list because the only way to get this is to be a subscriber all right so welcome back to launch build we are back over here we know you love the 07k content so we're keeping up with the 07k content but also we know you love the 1.8 t 2.0 2.1 content is i do it all i'm not even kidding guys subscribe to the channel <clears throat> but with this swap, <laughs> we've made more progress. And honestly, I'm going through the wires and it's just taking a little, guys. With all the bills I got going and all the things I'm doing on the side, like you're trying to keep things on the hush because you don't want things to fall. I'm doing some of the wiring. Um, I'm not in a rush to get this complete because this computer is actually still stock and has the immobilizer and all of that. My guy at Ziddy Works is working on the actual ECU that I will be using. So right now, I'm really just trying to figure out the pinouts. And then once I get the pinouts, then I can, I guess, attempt to start the car. But I'm in no rush because I have to finish doing the injectors. The injectors I accidentally cut the harness. So now, I gotta go back and put injector harnesses on on the motor. But once I do that, then I'll go through and then figure out the wires, which I believe I already know because again, I have um, the, the book and everything that I've made, but I have learned that with this new ECU, some of that is incorrect. But over to the manifold, we are at the manifold Look at how well the manifold turned out. It's crazy. Look at the welds. Look at the welds. Can you can you get in there? You gotta show them the welds. So, not bad for something that was just uh, booger welded together. But this is how the manifold is gonna sit. Again, turbo on top. I did take into to heed of everyone's accounts of this that we just welded to the shield but at the same time the shield is also a part of the manifold technically welded to the manifold so if, I can, if you look down in there nothing is sealed nothing is sealed so it's just can we get the light yeah so it's just open look at where that o2 bung is even that's open so you can see through in there So the fact that everything is open inside the shield, I mean, look at over in here, see that? So I had to seal the shield and then just pretty much do a little bit of beads in here. This is just to get us by. This is in no case um, to do the powerhouse. However, if I have to, I will. And I did give uh, 07K content for the past few weeks with 
in-depth knowledge. So now we're gonna take care of the 1.8 people. This right here, do you know who you are if you're an OG? You know why? What color is this block? <laughs> I finally decided, man, I gotta stop trying to prove my builds. But I need to get back to just building and plus I got a hurt motor. So I said, you know what? I need to put my motor together and this motor is getting back together. However, it is not being put back together as a 2.1. It is being put back together as a 2.0. Yes, this motor will be converted to a 2.0 and will be going in the wagon. We were able to order the crank needed. Let me. It didn't come with a trigger wheel. I had to put it on, but this is the crank needed so that we can convert this into a 2.0. Um, 2.0 motor, you want more information on that, you guys tell me you want an in-depth video, I'll give you everything you want to know about getting this crank, because there are certain cranks you need um, into your 1.8, or you can use the 2.0's block. Again, if you want more information on, on I'm waiting to um, anyone interested in the swap, SPA Turbo, they they have them. And SPA Turbo is our sponsor. Some products from them for this build. Check out SPA Turbo's line. They, they have um, everything needed for us to really do the 2.0 swap. They have uh, board pistons for 1.8s, big turbos, uh, fuel pressure regulators, everything you need to look at. But again, if you really want launch built to have some stand, some ground behind us. So again, if you want launch built to have some power, they need to see that demand behind us. If you are interested in a top mount uh, turbo manifold, uh, yeah, so go check them out. Pistons, I'll put old purple back together for you guys and we'll take it to the dyno, get that number, and then we're gonna put a big turbo on it after that. Sorry, babe. <laughs> Motor, again, will of course be a, a horsepower build, but before I get into that horsepower, I really wanna show you guys like the huge advantage that these 2.0T guys have over us 1.8 guys. Like it is dumb, stupid, ridiculous. Like, <clears throat> my buddy Joe, I remember when I first started with that blue Audi, flew past me in the 2.0, what's this, a seven? I think this is a seven GTI. And phew, gone here and yeah, third gear and homie was gone. Like, those shits move. And that's because of the low end torque from going from a 1.8, 86 millimeter stroke to a 92.8. That's a huge difference. And then you have those lightweight cars that are taking advantage of that, that it's, it's dumb stupid. So what I like to do, because honestly, you guys know how I feel about the 1.8s, the best engine ever made, at least in Audi's point of view, right? <laughs> Especially for a four cylinder. But I love the Audi platform because it's, it's, it's like Honda, it's like Nissan. Everything is compatible, but it's on a much greater scale. I can't even get into depth on this video because the video will be mad long. But again, all the information you guys wanna know, I need them in the comments. The torque will make the Audi much more a contender. So once I get this motor assembled, I'm going to keep the stock KO3 on there and we are going to go back to the dyno. I want to compare stock 1.8 20 valve KO3 versus 2.0 stock KO3. Does that make sense? So I want to get a number for number of how much of a difference just going to a stroker with the same turbo will do to the car. Like, do we really know how much of a difference it'll make? 
So again, we're 1.8s. We don't understand. We're just used to to maxing out the RPM and letting it scream. But when you get the the feeling of a 2.0 under your under your butt, when you're in that car and you feel it, like when I when I drove the 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 2.1 on a KO3, it it just felt like the turbo could not give the the motor what it wanted. So. Enough of that, we'll get back to that later, but again, we're gonna do a comparison for 2.0 versus 1.8 20 valve, 2.0 20 valve. And honestly, the 2.0 20 valve, I feel will be a lot more efficient than the 2.0, uh, what is it, 16 valve? I just tucked mine in and my ECU is actually in the car now, so I do not have an ECU outside the car anymore. I want to do it because I haven't seen it done. <laughs> I got problems. I really don't want to spend money on this. Uh, just because I, like, it's a 058 block. I, I really don't want to do anything with the block just because it's it's not the block that I need. It's, it's not the stock block that goes in the car. There was so much to get this motor in just to swap in the 058. There was so much to go into that that I really don't want to spend the time to take it apart, put bigger equipment in, and do the same thing and put it back together. I just wanted to show you guys that I could do it. I did it. Now I want to get rid of it. <laughs> so, uh, the harness, again, is removed from the car. I have it laid out, and then I go through, and then I go through my book, and then I, I'm trying to make sure which one so if i'm being honest here i think from from what i've read i don't i don't know but this harness is wired up slightly different than the one that i have down here and that's just because in the diagrams something was wired like the colors were backwards like vice versa so one color was this and that color was that for this one and then vice versa for that one so i made each harness i guess the versa of it so this one's slightly different from that one and that's just because the wire diagram i i don't know i'm still trying to understand so i have two different variants so that way i can just unplug and swap it out as opposed to deep in cut this and splatter it back to that I'm not going through all of that. So that's for that. Um, yeah. So let's get to, I guess, really the real reason why we're doing the 2 0 build. I won't know until I fully take it apart. 